Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mr. Football here, and today I have a special video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to attach a back plate to a pair of shoulder pads. So this is a common question I get all the time on some of my back plate shoulder pad videos uh, where people are having trouble attaching their, attaching their back plate properly. So today I'm going to show you, how, show you how to properly attach a back plate to any set of shoulder pads, just as a general rule, um, kind of what you should do with that. Uh, I have the Riddell Chrome back plate. Uh, if you want to know what this was, this has been reviewed on my channel. And then something that's been new to the channel is my Riddell SPX shoulder pads. Um, these are running back, defensive back uh, shoulder pads. So this is where uh, we're just going to kind of use these as our demo pads for today. Okay, so to start off, you want to find the perforated holes at the very bottom of your set of shoulder pads. That's where we're going to be placing the bottom of these straps. We're going to be attaching the screw through these two holes and securing the back plate there. So one thing you want to make sure you have included with your back plate is your hardware accessories. You should have two screws, two washers. These are sometimes optional, uh, but this back plate did come with washers. And then you have two short T-nuts. And these are all going to fit. Washer is going to fit on top of the T-nut. And the screw is going to go there and be secured through the back plate and the shoulder pad. The next step is we're going to place our hardware off to the side. And we're going to get our back plate aligned how we want it. So I just decided that I want to take this back plate and I want to put it through the second slot that's on the back plate so it'll kind of sit like this it won't always it won't be all the way up to the third one i feel as this will be the best placement for this so it will kind of just sit like that so we're going to first and something that i just want to point out and i see this sometimes people do is they attach the back plate from the outside of the buckle on the back plate to the shoulder pads and that's completely wrong you should always uh, do this from the inside, put the T-nut through there, and then screw it in through that. It's just a way better way uh, for it to want to, it won't come off. Uh, next thing, make sure you have a screwdriver, preferably a Phillips head screwdriver. So we're gonna start uh, actually putting this on. So we're gonna take our washer and T-nut, place it through the second loop, a little hole through there, and we're gonna go find our attachment where we're gonna put it, the hole in the shoulder pads, and then we're gonna get a screw, get it lined up, kind of start it, and then bring in the screwdriver. And we're gonna get it till it is tight, till we can't tighten it anymore. Alright, so there's one side. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. And we're going to have a secured back plate. And the thing about back plates is they all, there's all different sizes, shapes. They're all basically universal to all shoulder pads. This actually ended up matching really well. The chrome back plate is one of the newer back plates. And it's on the newest set of Riddell shoulder pads. The SPX shoulder pads. All right, so there we are. That was quick, very painless. The back plate is attached, as you can see. And we have got a safely secured back plate, the chrome back plate on the SPX shoulder pads. So here it is, the finished product, the Riddell back plate on the Riddell SPX running back, defensive back, shoulder pads. So that is how you properly attach a back plate uh, to a set of football pads, football shoulder pads. So hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Make sure you check out my other videos. Follow me on Instagram. Make sure you subscribe. Turn on notifications so you can be a part of Notification Squad, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.